Well, Timu's done it again. They roped me into making another video, but they didn't have to twist my arm too hard because they just have so many good things. Every time I think I've run out of things that I want or need, need, I always find something on there and their prices are like 90% off of what other stores would be. Every time I want to buy something, I always check Timu first comparatively to other stores and Timu's always the, the least expensive. Plus they have free returns and I don't feel bad about ordering it because I can send it back within 90 days. It does take a little bit longer to get, maybe like a week. And if they're late from the date they say, like a little span of time, they'll give you $5 off on your next order. So there's really no downside. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, go get the Timu app. And whether you have it or don't have it yet, you can use my code, put it in the search bar and you'll get a hundred dollar coupon bundle. That's a lot of savings, especially with the holidays coming up. I've been reading the book, The Artist's Way lately, and it's just really gotten my creative juices flowing. So I really wanted to get all kinds of art supplies, which is so exciting to me because I want to start a hobby of sketching and painting and stuff like that. This is an inexpensive way to do it. And I'm pretty sure that these products are pretty good just for based on the reviews. And I'm going to test a few of them in today's video as well. So there's a lot to get through. So let's jump right in. Now I've broken up these three bags into kind of different little sections. So the first one's going to be sketching. Um, listen, I'm not an artist, but I've just been kind of dipping my toe into the sketching. I saw a picture online and I just kind of just looked at it and just freehanded it. But you could see the top one is just like a girl like putting her hair up in a bun, which I thought was really pretty. And then the bottom one, you're probably like, that looks suspicious. What is it? It's me trying to recreate this bowl of dried flowers. And there's no ice. I gave up because I don't understand like depth perception. So I was trying to make the rose and it just didn't work. But anyways, I bought this sketch pad and like lead pencils on another online store, but I wanted to add some color. So I got this 120 colored pencils, oil pencils, rainbow type situation. These are more like, you could do like fairyland situations, sketch a, like a forest or outdoor scene. That'd be good. This one would be like some sort of like royalty or just something beautiful and Victorian or something. Color in like different uh, skin tones and animal colors like fur and whatever. They even had one that had, I think like 200, 240, but I just got this one. This is 120 oil colored pencils. And I did try it and the pigment is very vibrant. It feels substantial. It doesn't feel like really like light and sparse. Like when we used the colored pencils when we were little kids in school. So this is good. If I do want to travel, then I did buy these cutest little pencil holders. They have little slots so you can put the individual pencils. This one holds, I think like 24. And it's got this really beautiful beige, uh, you know, little flowers on there. And then I got, if I really want to go crazy, I got this beautiful ocean pattern. And this one holds, I don't know, I think like 72 pencils. If I want to just go out and take this in my van and go somewhere. So that'd be cool. Electric eraser. Now, who needs this? I do because I make a lot of mistakes. Turn it on and just, you know, erase it. They're, I think they're called like stumps or something. They're just made of paper, but they're for blending. So you could, you know, if you're trying to make like some shadows, you could just do that and they're made of paper and then you just rip off the edge. All of a sudden I'm just like this master sketcher. I need all these things. I don't know. I also got these white colored pencils. They're not colored, but they're white. They're, they're not sharpened yet, but they're just white ones. And so when you're doing, say, the whites of the eye or teeth, or even if you wanted to blend in some of the different lead colors or whatever, you can use the white ones. I'm just trying to get all the things that I would possibly need. I really want to take a sketching class, but I really haven't found one. Or if the ones that I did find, they were like $300. I'm like, bro, it's not that serious. I bought some other things. I actually think I got this case, this acrylic case on Timu as well in a different order, but I got, um, let's see, I got this, this is like, like putty. And so you can erase with this thing 
And then there was like this six pack of these little white erasers. I don't really know why I need so many different types of erasers, but I, I think because I'm learning different depths and perceptions and things like that, I'm, I find myself erasing a lot and then adjusting the lines. I also, because I bought so many color pencils, I just needed one pencil sharpener, but this one came with six and it was pretty inexpensive. And that is the sketching portion. Now let's move on to watercolors. So there's two types of watercolors. The dry kind that you, you know, wet it up and it's like little tabs or pellets. I don't know what they call them, but that one comes in this container. They have several different ones, but this is the Simi Art and it comes in a cute little tin. And the cool thing is it comes with a brush, a little place for you to, you know, mix your colors. And then it comes with a water brush. So you fill this part with water and then probably a lot easier to start with this. Then here's the magnificent colors. They're pretty vibrant and it comes with a color card. So I'll probably do that a little bit later, but they look pretty vibrant and the reviews were really good on this one. So I like that. I got this watercolor pad. This is 300 GSM, which is the thickness or heaviness of the paper. And it's 12 sheets and it's almost like a cardstock. It's pretty thick, so it's probably not going to bleed through if you do the watercolors. It's a nice, nice texture, nice bite. I also got the diff a different kind of watercolor and watercolor paints. It comes with all these colors. So you can use the ones that are in the little like pellets, but then you can also get these, you know, you can just do it like that. I've not really used this kind before, but I thought if I'm going to go all in, I might as well have all the supplies I need. And I'm very excited to give this a try. I have somebody that's been watching this channel for a while, Mary. Uh, she's one of the snack packers or Allison Sharp viewers, and she teaches watercolor. And so she's going to send me some videos that I'm very excited about because I really want to learn how to just explore. I, I don't need to be a professional, but I'd like to, you know, try some things out. Then I got all these different sizes of brushes because I don't know, they just had so many different options. And it's like so inexpensive that it gives you the opportunity to play around with different things. This is my romanticized version of being an artist is that I got this thing that I saw on TikTok. Now it was more expensive on another online store that's very popular. So I was like, it's really not that serious. But when I saw it on Timu, I was like, it's a good deal. So I'm going to get it. But it's this little wooden box. It's magnetized. But when you open it, a little side for your tiny little watercolors, and then you can mix the colors right there. And it comes with just a regular office clip. And this is separate is I got this beautiful cloth sketchbook. It's got like cranes on it. They had different styles. Okay. So you clip it on here and then you can just, you know, do your paints and then sketch some things out and then paint on it and just, you know, sit and have a picnic and just, you know, you could just mix it up and then just be out in the forest, just being like little house on the prairie artist. And then I also got an even smaller pad with the same weight. And it's just got a cute little cover to it. If I'm really feeling like I'm in a little tiny mood, I bought this littlest, even smaller than a mint tin. And you just open it up. <laughs> There's a little place that you could put all your cutest little colors, squirt your little paints in there, and then you can take your little pad of paper. If you just feel like being an artist, these are not things that I need, but these are just little cool things that just kind of sparks creativity. When you're using watercolors, obviously you need to refresh the water and pick a new color and stuff like that. So I got two different things cause I wasn't really sure. Um, this one I got to still kind of put together, but it's a really cool invention if I could get it to work. So it's this littlest, container you fill with water and it's almost like a sparklets thing. You put your water in here. This water drips into this place right here and goes into this little crevice. You just cleanse it out here and then you just press this button and the water falls 
down here. And so then it just brings more fresh water here. So you always have a fresh well of water. It's so cute. But if that doesn't end up working long term, I got this case, which is pretty sturdy. It has a lid and then it has your little well for all your paints. Um, and then you can put all your brushes, you know, in. Oh. Hey, I think you got to find the right sizes, but so you can put all your brushes in here. Okay. And then this is two little places for your water so that you can clean it out. And it's kind of not perforated, but got the little thing where you can scrape down the paint off of that. So that's a pretty cool thing that I could just keep on my desk. So I think that's all the watercolor stuff. I mean, you can use this for regular painting too, which leads me to my third and final section is the regular painting section. And I have one little fun thing after this. Painting can be a little bit messy and I bought a fairly expensive desk off of Ikea. Not expensive, but expensive for me. And I don't really want to get it dirty when I do crafts. So I got this leather desk pad and it's got a nice consistency and it's like really soft but grippy a little bit on the back. So you just lay it down and then, you know, paint away and it's not going to get anything dirty. I, they have different, lots of different colors and even different sizes, but I just wanted the biggest one to cover my desk. I got acrylic set. I could have pieced it out, but it was just such a good deal. It comes with two little water sponges so that you can, you know, just like wipe your brushes down. What every artist needs is an artist's little paint palette. Three uh, canvases, little individual canvases. So you could just try some things out. It comes with this little paint scoopy mixer thingy, which is like for a true professional. It comes with all the paint brushes of America or other countries, I guess. Lots of, and it's in this great little carrying case and it has a little handle so you could, you know, just carry it with you, but it has 24 acrylic paints. Now I heard that, you know, when you're painting, usually you need like four main colors, like cadmium yellow, some kind of brown, like, uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, burnt umber, some other like red and some other like green, or I don't know. There's certain ones that you just for sure need. So all of those are in here and they're just in the cutest little squirt containers so that you can, you can mix those with other colors and create whatever colors you want. So this, thing came with 24 acrylics so it has everything that i need to get started and now there's something that i know i don't need but i felt like if i'm really gonna go all in that i need an easel a desktop easel i haven't put it together yet but it comes with a little screwdriver the screws and you know you get to set it up i need a beret i should have ordered a beret let me show you really quickly what i got at the thrift store i know it has nothing to do with timu but i gotta show it to you whenever i color my hair i need like ratty old shirt to do that. And I just don't really have one. So I went to the thrift store and bought this not really cute shirt, little paisley shirt. And I can use it when I color my hair because it'll cover my neck and arms. But also I'm gonna use this as my official painting shirt. And so when I put this on, you know, I'm ready for business. I'm serious about my craft. So I have to put up my easel and I put up my little boards and everything. Another thing that I got, this little miniature set. And this one is the coffee house. Coffee, it's called coffee time. So it's a little miniature figurine thingy. And it has all the pieces you need to put it together. It even comes with little tweezers and a ruler. It comes with a battery. So I think there's a light inside the little coffee shop, which I think is so adorable. And they have different scenes. So they have a little noodle shop, candy shop, and a few other ones. So this I think is gonna be really fun to put together. And also on a side note, I did get this shirt off of Timu and this cutest necklace off of Timu and these earrings, which comes from another video that I did about Timu. So it seems like my life is just becoming like a full Timu commercial, but I'm telling you, I'm very frugal and the prices are so good that it's like, why not? And, and, and like I said, you get free returns. So if you try something that doesn't work, 
then you don't feel bad about it because you could always return it. And then finally, we have a new teeny mascot, a plant scot. <laughs> I don't have a name for this little guy, but it's got the softest little feet and the softest little plant head. It's so cute. Look at his little face. It just cheers me up. I think as adults, just you should get the things that make you smile and make you happy. And it just makes me happy. And this was just a small handful of what was available on Timu for art supplies. So if you're interested in trying art as a hobby, Timu is the place to go to get your start. Put in my code that's going to be in the description. Also, you can use the link in the description to buy any of these items that I've shown you today. And if you do end up getting something off of Timu, let me know what you got. Put it in the comments because I'd love to know. I get excited when I hear all the things that people are getting and saving money because in these trying times, we got to save money wherever we can. Remember that when you use my code, you'll get a hundred dollar coupon bundle to save even more money off of the already like 90% off that you're getting from these items. So until next time, bye for now. What's your name going to be? Spectacle.